A Night in Casablanca A Night in Casablanca is a 1946 film starring the Marx brothers Groucho, Chico, and Harpo. The picture was directed by Archie Mayo and written by Joseph Fields and Roland Kibbe. Plot Set in Casablanca shortly after World War Roman II, escaped Nazi war criminal Heinrich Stubel has steadily murdered three managers of the Hotel Casablanca. Disguised as a Count Pfefferman, Stubel's goal is to reclaim the stolen art treasures that he has hidden in the hotel. However, the only way he can do this undetected is by murdering the hotel's managers and running the hotel himself. The newest manager of Hotel Casablanca is former motel proprietor Ronald Cornblow, who is very much unaware that he has been hired because no one else will dare take the position. Inept Cornblow takes charge of the hotel and eventually crosses paths with Corbaxio, owner of the Yellow Camel Company, who appoints himself as Cornblow's bodyguard, aided and abetted by Stubel's valet Rusty. In his many efforts to murder Cornblow, Stubel sends beautiful Beatrice Reiner to romance the clueless manager. Before Stubel can make his escape to the airfield with the loot Cornblow, his friends and Miss Reiner invade his hotel room and sneak from suitcase to closet and back again to unpack his bags, which serves to drive him thoroughly mad. Arrested on false charges, Cornblow, Corbaxio, and Rusty eventually crash Stubel's plane into a police station where the brothers expose Stubel as an escaped Nazi. Cast Groucho marks as Ronald Cornblow, Harpo marks as Rusty, Chico marks as Corbaxio, Charles Drake as Lieutenant Pierre Dilmar, Lois Collier as Annette, Sig Ruman as Count Pfefferman alias Heinrich Stubel, Lysette Verria as Beatrice Reiner, Louise L. Russell as Governor Gallo, Dan Samer as Prefect of Police Captain Brizard, Frederick Germann as Kurt, Harrow Miller as Emile, David Hoffman as Spy, Paul Harvey as Mr. Smythe, Mr. Smythe, Legal Myth, a popular story spread in part by Groucho himself surrounding the movie is that the Marx brothers were threatened with a lawsuit by Warner Bros. for the use of the word Casablanca in the title, it being an infringement on the company's rights to the 1942 film Casablanca. Groucho responded with a letter asserting that he and his siblings had use of the word brothers prior to the establishment of Warner Brothers and many others had before that, and often the story is told that Groucho threatened a countersuit based on this assertion. He also mentioned that he would consider further legal action by pointing out to Warners that the title of their current hit film Night and Day infringed on the titles of two Marx Brothers films, A Night at the Opera and A Day at the Races. The true story is that the original storyline for the film was intended to be a direct parody of Casablanca, with the characters having similar sounding names to the characters and actors in the 1942 film. Groucho Marx has said that an early draft named his character Humphrey Bobus, a reference to the leading actor in Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart. Warner Bros. did not actually litigate, or even threaten to litigate, but it did issue a formal inquiry to the Marx brothers concerning the plot and script of the film. The Marx brothers exploited the situation for publicity, making it appear to the public that a frivolous lawsuit was in the works and Groucho sent several open letters to Warner Bros. to get newspaper coverage. These letters were among those he donated to the Library of Congress, and he reprinted them in his book The Groucho Letters, which he published in 1967. There is no evidence that Warner Brothers ever responded to any of Groucho's letters. In the end, the matter died without legal action, and the storyline of the film was changed to be a send-up of the genre rather than Casablanca specifically. Warner Bros. now owns the distribution rights to this film via Castle Hill Productions.